Hello and welcome everybody to this Fabric Espresso. I'm joined here today by Jacinda and we're going to talk about a very special new feature. But first, Jacinda, please introduce yourself. Hi everyone, my name is Jacinda and I'm a program manager on the Fabric Data Warehouse team. And I specifically work on user consumption experiences, especially sharing. Okay, cool. So you already gave a bit away. So we're going to talk about this new feature called sharing your warehouse and basically the permission management of that. Can you talk a bit more about what it is and what problems we're solving with it? Yeah, of course. So sharing is a convenient way to provide users read access and also enable downstream consumption. So users can use Spark, can use SQL, can use Power BI reports to read that data. And you can also customize the level of permissions that you give those users. But let me show you a quick demo of that feature. First off, the user who owns the workspace can go ahead and share their warehouse. So they can go and select the warehouse and click on the share icon here here and here you'll see a pop-up that says grant people access so first off I'm going to share the warehouse with Stan so once I've selected the user um, I can see that I can check off additional permissions so by default here here you'll see that build reports on the default data set was already selected so the user can go ahead and build a power bi report on top of the underlying default data set the user can also select another permission called read all data using SQL. And this is essentially the read data permission. So the user is able to read all the tables and views within the warehouse. And you can also use grant revoke deny statements to provide more granular access as well. Another permission is the read all data using Apache Spark. So that is the read all permission and it grants users permission to the underlying files in one lake for the user to read uh, using Spark. And so I'm going to notify Stan that this warehouse is now shared with them. If I'd like, I can type an additional message, but that is optional. And once I'm ready, I'm going to go ahead and click grant. And Stan should receive an email shortly that a warehouse has been shared to him. Okay, Jacinda, I've got your email. So what I do now is just I'll click open. Yeah. And that basically shows me that I now have access to that sample warehouse data set, right? Yep, that is correct. So now you can either choose to create a report, you can query the data, um, or you can use an existing lake house that you have and create a shortcut and connect to this warehouse. What would you like to do first? So I'll start off with creating a report. Sounds good. So, okay, this is awesome. This gives me just my report automatically with, uh, with the warehouse you just shared with me. Awesome. So next up, let's try querying the data. Let's query the data. Let me just look at what's inside Tim City here. Okay, awesome, I can just query the data. So basically, does this mean that I now have like all access to, to every table here because you gave me read uh, to all data, right? Yeah, so because I selected um, the first checkbox, um, it allows you to select and read all the data within the tables and views in this warehouse. Okay, cool. So the way to restrict it is just unchecking the most boxes. So unchecking all boxes would basically just grant you the ability to connect, right? Yeah, so if you didn't select, if, or if I didn't select any of those checkboxes, you would get uh, the read permission, which is the connect per permissions, and you would only be able to connect to the SQL endpoint of the warehouse. Okay, cool. So basically, we get granular access control this way. Awesome. That basically shows us like how you can now make that granular permission model that you want to have and actually reduce the amount of people that are seeing your data. And you can actually do that across all these, this artifact. You can have these four different permissions, but is there other stuff we can do as well, Jacinda? Yes, so now I'm going to show you how you can use an existing lake house and create a shortcut and connect to that shared warehouse and query the data from there. So. Right now I'm in my own lake house called test 77 and I'm going to create a new shortcut. So I'm going to, I right clicked on the tables folder and I'm going to click on new shortcut. I'm going to select Microsoft one lake and I'm going to share a, a select that warehouse. All right, so here you'll actually see all the tables that are within that shared warehouse. So I'm just going to uh, select the first one, dim city. Now click on create. All right, and you'll see that dim city pop up in the tables folder. 
if I want to just preview it, I'm going to go ahead and select it. And the data shows uh, shows up right here. If I want to do a little bit more querying, I'm going to go ahead and switch to the SQL endpoint. And you'll see the dim city table pop up in the tables folder of my object explorer. I will click on, on the more options button, click on new SQL query, select top 100, and you'll see a query that is generated and it's automatic, automatically run. And I will see the first top 100 rows. And that demonstrates how I can connect from a existing lake house to my shared warehouse and query from there. Awesome. So basically, we can all, not only create shortcuts to that shared warehouse, we can basically now also have that granular access control just by clicking that share button, choosing one of the four permissions or none of them, just granting people connect permissions. And that basically solves the issue of having granular access control. Now, if this was the first time you're visiting our channel and you liked the video, just give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about this feature or if you want to know more about this feature or if you have any other videos you want to see or you have some feedback for us, just write them in the comments and we'll definitely get back to you. If you want to see more of this type of content, we've got loads of videos on this channel on Fabric. Just hit that subscribe button and you get all this Fabric goodness. Now, as always from the Fabric Espresso team, this is Stan. And Jacinda. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.